My program consists of putting out um, granular fertiliser um, early, um, you know, towards the start of the autumn break. I don't um, wait until uh, there's an autumn break um, and it's green. I like to put it out early. Um, uh, it's, it's a mineral uh, fertiliser product that um, originally came from Mount Gamber. It's now made in Hamilton. And so I put that out at uh, probably about 300 kilos a hectare. As part of that um, program, they, they put a, um, an amount of lime in that, that mix. So every year that I put out fertiliser, there's lime in it, um, digested um, lime. So rather than putting out lime at um, a ton per hectare, or you know, or two and a half yeah. a hectare, or whatever you, you do, um, I like to put out a little bit of lime each year. Um, a, another thing is um, the foliar program. That, that's why we're talking today, yeah. I suppose. I love the idea of um, uh, putting out a foliar spray because um, uh, there's. There's a lot of evidence that I've read which says that um, foliar applications are ten times more effective than putting out granulars. So I see that as a, a terrific tweaking of the system. Um, there's two ways that I've done it. I would normally put out five litres of you know, Rural Boss or whatever product I'm using um, in the autumn and follow it up with another t uh, five litres in the spring. But this year is an experiment of putting out ten litres of your product as a hay booster in the spring. Mm. Um, and I've only just finished um, doing that. So that's uh, the third part of the program. A third, uh, another part is um, dung beetles. Um, I was part of a land care group that um, got the big African bibus bucin, I think they, they call it something like that. They're really big um, African dung beetles and I've imported them onto the place. And I'd say within a week of a cow pat appearing, it would be gone. Yep. It's, it's been uh, buried under the ground and what that does of course is aerate your soil, takes nutrients down and when it rains you've got channels where the water goes down so I'm actually harvesting water. Um, another aspect, to, the long answer, but there's another aspect to it is um, rotational grazing. On each farm, two separate farms, I've got a five paddock rotation so I just keep rotating the paddocks and I make sure that the paddocks are flogged. Um, Rather than letting the cows selectively graze, I lock them in and they've got really good quality water. All my uh, dams are fenced. Uh, I, I force them to eat everything in the paddock. So rather than selectively graze, when it's flogged I put them into um, another paddock. And um, I guess another aspect of it is um, I put uh, stock supplementations in the water.